Hi everyone, my name is Anton Drazin. I'm a sports medicine doctor, urologist, andrologist, dermatovenerologist. PCT, post-cycle therapy, is a complex of diagnostic and treatment procedures aimed at the body recovery, uh, first of all the hormonal system as well as other organs and organ systems, liver, kidneys, gastrointestinal tract, cardiovascular system and so on after taking anabolic steroids. But still, the main goal of PCT is to recall the hormonal system of a man and to be more precise, to launch the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis and to recall the function of testicles, Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. First of all, let's start with a list of tests that are necessary for correct conducting of PCT. It includes the following blood tests. Total testosterone, prolactin, estradiol, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, complete blood count, blood lipid profile, ALT, AST, uh, urea, creatinine, and general PSA. Other tests, only if necessary, can be taken according to additional indications or prescribed by a sports doctor based on tests before, during the cycle of anabolic steroids and the current, stent of, the current state of health of an athlete. Uh, dear friends, remember, uh, it isn't possible to conduct or at least to start correct PCT without doing tests. PCT can be conditionally divided into several stages. The first stage can be called preparatory. Uh, it isn't aimed at launching the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis. The main goal of this stage is to stimulate the function of testicles, Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. Uh, it includes the use of HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. The duration, uh, frequency rate of its using, uh, as well as the dosage of this medicine depend on the duration of the cycle of anabolic steroids, uh, the dosages of anabolic steroids during the cycle, the age and the body weight of the athlete, anamnesis, for example, how many anabolic steroid cycles uh, and which ones were implemented before, and current blood test results. On average, the cycle of H, uh, uh, human chorionic gonadotropin consists of uh, 10 injections of 1,000 international units every other day, 10 injections in total for 20 days. In some cases, the cycle of HCG can be as short as 5 injections, and in some cases, it is necessary to get even 15 injections of 2,000 international units every other day for 30 days. It should be noted that uh, sometimes this stage of PCT isn't required. In those cases, when the cycle of anabolic steroids is uh, short, the dosages of drugs are very small and the athlete is quite young. The second basic stage of PCT is aimed to launch the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis and involves the use of anti-estrogens. Clomid, clomiphene, clomiphene citrate, clostalbigid, nolvadex, tamoxifen, and turimiphene, uh, ferristin. Clomid and nolvadex are most commonly used. The duration, frequency rate of using, as well as the dosages of these medicines directly depend on the same factors as is the case with HCG. An approximate scheme of taking Clomid is as follows. First week, uh, 50 mg uh, three times a day. Second week, uh, 50 mg twice a day. Third week, 50 mg twice a day. Fourth week, 50 mg once a day. Fifth week, 50 mg uh, every other day. And sixth week, uh, 25 mg every other day. An approximate scheme of taking Novadex is as follows. First week, 20 mg three times a day. Second week, 20 mg twice a day. Th uh, third week, uh, 20 mg twice a day. Fourth week, uh, 20 mg every once a day, fifth week, uh, 20 milligrams every other day, 
and six week uh, 10 milligrams every other day. Naturally, these are approximate schemes of taking Clomid and Nolvadex with a smooth gradual dosage reduction. In some cases, the duration of taking these medicines uh, as well as uh, their dosages may be less or more. In specific, case, in specific cases, the simultaneous use of Clomid and Nolvadex is possible. The very first time since the beginning of PCT, while an athlete should get tested on the, on the 15th to 16th day of taking Clomid and Nolvadex. The list of tests to be submitted at this point. Total testosterone, prolactin, estradiol, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, complete blood count, blood lipid profile, ALT, AST, other tests on left necessary can be taken according to additional indications or prescribed by a sports doctor based on tests before PCT and the current state of health of an athlete. The increasing of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone levels is an indicator of the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis launching. The increasing of the total testosterone level is an indicator of testicles functioning. If luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone levels are very low on the 15th to 16th day of taking Clomid and Nolvadex, this indicates a weak hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis activity. In this case, you should continue taking Clomid and Nolvadex for two uh, more weeks, after which you need to do blood tests again. And if luteinizing hormone and follicle uh, stimulating uh, hormone uh, levels are very low again at this point, this indicates uh, that uh, the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis uh, doesn't launch. And uh, the so-called the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis restart is required, uh, which includes a complete cancellation of Clomid and Nolvadex, then again the HCG cycle, and after the HCG cycle, again taking Clomid and Nolvadex. The third stage of PCT, taking testosterone boosters, intersects with the second one and can be started simultaneously with taking anti-estrogens. But it lasts much longer than the second stage, and its aim is to stimulate testosterone production by testicles, namely lady cells. It is necessary to use various combinations of testosterone boosters, no more than two at a time, at this stage. Each combination lasts for one and a half to two months. The alternation of such combinations occurs until full recovery of testosterone level and libido. Normal testosterone level and good libido are the key indicators of PCT, compl uh, PCT completion. It is necessary to closely monitor the values of prolactin and estradiol uh, during PCT. And when these hormones levels increase, one should make adjustments with appropriate medicines. As for the semen analysis, sperm count test, which gives us information about uh, male fertility. Mm. It is submitted uh, immediately after the end of the anabolic steroid cycle uh, and then no more often than once a month. Medicines and dietary supplements aimed at improving sperm semen indicators uh, can be prescribed simultaneously with uh, HCG, anti-estrogens, and testosterone boosters, L-carnitine, L-arginine, L-carnosine, vitamins A and E, uh, zinc, selenium, folic acid, coenzyme Q10. As for the recovery of other organs and organ systems, this is conducted according to additional indications uh, based on deviations in the corresponding analysis. For example, in case, of deviations in, uh, in case of deviations in liver function tests, ademission in milk thistle, urso deoxycholic acid, with deviations in complete blood count, aspirin, uh, dipyridomol, uh, in case of deviations in uh, blood lipid profile, omega-3, 
omega-3 fish oil, uh, lecithin, uh, cardiostatins. Remember the most important thing, my dear friends. It is not difficult to take a cycle of anabolic steroids, and you should not be too smart for this. It is much more difficult and more important to recover from this cycle in order to maintain your health after the use of anabolic steroids. I therefore kindly ask you to try to conduct PCT correctly and pay special attention to this. Dr. Drazian is always here for you. Thanks for your time.